How you doing everybody? It's Adam here with another web design video lesson. This one is a question we get regularly at the developphp.com forums. So I thought I'd document this information and these three techniques on video so it reaches a wider audience. Now I've had a few clients that have requested to have audio play continuously on all pages of their website. Now if I were to just add an mp3 to play on each page the normal way, each time a user would navigate to a different page the music would start over. So we'll be showing you three techniques to prevent that from happening so the background audio is uninterrupted as a visitor navigates all the pages of the website. So not only will we discuss the techniques, we're also going to show you code and give you real examples to get these things going for yourself. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what's my preferred technique and the cons of using each different technique. Okay, technique number one is here at Develop PHP in the Learn HTML section. You just go down to iframe, floating frames. And here's all the code you need to get started with creating a floating frame that would hold your page content. Now let me explain real quick how that would work. What you would have is your floating frame would be your page content section. And that would always change when people are clicking on your static menu. So you have your site header, your footer, and your menu will be static on the page and never change as the person navigates through all the different pages of your website because the menu system will control what gets loaded into this page content section which would be your iframe. In top in the header you can simply put any kind of mp3 player you want or you may choose to have it in the footer or over in the menu just as long as you put it in a section of your website that doesn't have to reload every time they click a link only thing that will reload in the iframe situation would be the page content section if you designate that to be your iframe. Okay, now technique number two is using JavaScript. So let's click on the Learn JavaScript link. And down here we have examples and common webmaster uses for JavaScript. In that list I've got a little tutorial about raw JavaScript div toggling for uninterrupted audio play on website. So you can go to that page, you can get this code, and experiment with that a little bit. And this one works in a similar fashion as the iframe. The only difference is you're using JavaScript to swap out what's displaying as page content when people are clicking your various menu items. But in that situation, it's the same thing. The header, the menu, and the footer, and whatever else never changes and never reloads. The only thing that reloads on the page is the content section. And that's JavaScript driven. So you can have your MP3 player up in your header, in your menu, in your footer, wherever you want on the page as long as it's not in that ever-changing content section. Because the header, footer, and menu will never reload. So you can put audio to play in those sections and it'll never get interrupted. Technique number three is using Flash. So we can click on the Flash video tutorial section. Scroll down to working with MP3 and sounds. Sound and MP3 audio player programming. And down here at the very bottom, it's the latest tutorial I've put out about sound programming in ActionScript 3. It's called Website Background Music with Control and Streaming Play. And this one will show you how to get website background music to play within your Flash website as people navigate through all the various pages. Now, which of the three techniques is best for a webmaster to use? I'm not going to define which is the best. I'm going to leave that up to you. And maybe everybody on YouTube or wherever can comment in and say what they think about the situation. What I'll do is I'll just mention what the disadvantages are to using these various methods. And a lot of people will just say, you know, it's just not cool at all to have background music playing on a website. That's not what websites are for. But the web is changing. You know, a lot of people might want to have audio background music playing on their website. As we go into the future, that's going to be a more common thing. Multimedia on the web is growing. Okay, so iframes, the disadvantage to using iframe or floating frames in your website is that search engines sometimes have a difficult time spidering and indexing that data and also establishing links to that data that is within the frames. Now with JavaScript, the disadvantages are that it can be disabled by the user and Google says they do not like for webmasters to use hidden divs, but Google and Facebook both use them religiously and are the biggest sites on the web. And if you want, I have a little article at DevelopPHP 
under the marketing and SEO section that talks about hidden HTML containers which is the way that JavaScript method is set up. Now, if you click on that I talk about the article at Google I give a link to it and everything where Google discusses how they don't like webmasters to use hidden text and links by hiding it through CSS. So you can check out this article if you want. So maybe a better method using the JavaScript would be to use jQuery to load in the pages. So one could use jQuery to make it to where they don't have hidden containers on the page that are waiting to be displayed in the content section. You would actually load the pages in on the server. And that would help you get rid of this one. But jQuery and JavaScript can still both be disabled by the user. And there's some freaks on the web that run around. There's some freaks on the web that navigate the web with JavaScript turned off because they're afraid of JavaScript attacks. And my preferred method is Flash. And at flashbuilding.com I have continuous MP3 for all my pages and stuff like that. The MP3 just keeps playing and it, and it will not be interrupted no matter what they do unless I want them to. For instance, if somebody clicks this TV button, you can see I have it programmed to where a new window pops up showing the TV and then the audio has stopped. I can press play again and start it up. So with the Flash website, I think I just think it's a little more natural. And usually you'll see continuous audio play throughout a whole website on Flash websites. So that's pretty much it. I hope that helps some of you guys who are looking to have website background music continuously play throughout all the pages of your website. Okay, we'll see you next lesson. Bye-bye.